This is Ice Cream Gecko and in today's video we're going to take a look at the KFC Zinger Burger. This is uh, my second item ever from KFC. I only ever had this classic bucket before and that wasn't all too great. So uh, let us take a look at the Zinger Burger today. Maybe this is different. I wanted to take a look at this for quite some time now, but I never really got around to doing it. So um, yeah, this streak of not doing it has, uh, be, has, has come to an end today and we are finding ourselves with the Zinger burger on the table right now. So we've got a lot of lettuce, got some chicken, some interesting looking breading and more lettuce. Um, we can see right here we've got some sauce there. The chicken piece looks all right I guess. Now something I, I always thought, uh, is it is probably something I shouldn't say in this video, is that these sort of flakes here have you ever played The Last of Us? Because I have on PlayStation 3 back in the day. And these sort of flakes here, they always reminded me of these shapes on the um, infected, on the, on the zombie creatures in The Last of Us. And this always grosses me out a little bit. Please let me know if you have ever thought the same about this. I hope I'm not the only one uh, with that particular thought. Anyway, uh, let's take the knife real quick and do a little cross section right away. Um, other than this similarity to a video game, I have to say that this looks okay, I'm better than expected almost. Cross-section wise, we are having, well, some colouring in there it seems. Maybe some, some spice here in the chicken. It looks, looks okay. It's, it's simple, it's a lot simpler than I thought it would be. I thought there would maybe be tomatoes on there, like a McDonald's burger or something like that, but no, this is just a chicken sandwich. So um, let's go for a bite. So the first bite is quite all right. I have to say that the overall consistency is fine. Flavor is fine. Uh, the scent I haven't really assessed until now. It does smell like a like a proper chicken sandwich though. It smells better than McDonald's chicken sandwiches. I don't know what it is exactly but this right here does smell a bit more natural, a bit more chicken-like. Sounds weird to say it this way but that's what I'm thinking about right now. So the chicken itself consistency wise is fine. The spiciness on this is something that I didn't really expect, but it's very welcome. It's got a nice spiciness to it. It's not too hot, but you can definitely feel something. It's a sort of a, in the, on the top of the mouth and in the back of the tongue, that's where it uh, seems to sit for me at the moment. Uh, the lettuce consistency wise could be a bit uh, fresher maybe. Um, yeah, but but that's, okay when we look at the grand scheme of things. Let's take a look at the, the sauce real quick. I don't even know what, what sort of sauce this is. There's a bit more spice to it, a bit more flavor than just regular mayonnaise. It tastes fine though, a bit sweet, maybe a bit too sweet. Um, I don't really like too much sweet stuff on things, but um, yeah, flavor-wise it is, it's, it's quite all right. So um, yeah, I think I'm going for a second bite here. Well, no surprises on the second bite, um, very much the same story as in the first one. A bit less sauce on it though. Um, one thing, as of right now, I can say that um, a bit more sauce maybe would be good with this. It feels a bit dry, at least on the, on the, on the lowest side of things here. But uh, other than that, I have to say that I'm pleased with it so far. Um, consistency of everything is fine. A bit of crunch from that uh, breading right here. Uh, the sauce tastes good, lettuce could be a bit more fresh like I said, but um, other than that, not really too much to complain about. Alright, the first half is gone and I have to say that I'm uh, yeah quite pleased with this. Up until this point, the favorite chicken sandwich of mine was always the uh, McDonald's uh, classic chicken sandwich, this longer one. But this one right here maybe changes that. I have to say that I uh, do appreciate the, the spice of this and I also do appreciate the, the texture of this chicken. Um, it, it overall feels like a proper chicken sandwich, whereas the McDonald's chicken sandwich, the, the McChicken classic, feels like a McChicken classic, but not necessarily a, a chicken sandwich as a chicken sandwich. I don't know if that description makes any sense, but it does to me. Yeah, I hope I'm not too far out now with it. So, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna finish this off and I'll see you with the review sheet in just a second. All right, the consumption process is complete and we are ready to rate this with the review sheet. First impression wise, I have to say that this is fine. I don't have anything to complain about. Looked good, um, smelled good, 
yeah, not much to say. Uh, Color-wise, same story here. Consistency in texture. Here we deduct a point uh, because the lettuce could have been a bit fresher, a bit more crunchy, I guess. And the bread itself, uh, I noticed later what, what it was. Yeah, it, it felt like it has been sitting out for a couple hours out in the open air. Uh, not freshly out of the package, not the, the softness anymore. Um, that's probably it. Because the entire sandwich was quite uh, quite light, so there was quite a bit of air in that bread and the only resistance probably came because it kind of dried out a little. The texture of the chicken itself was fine though, therefore still one out of two available points. Flavor-wise I give four out of five available points because I have to say that everything was quite all right. Uh, the chicken itself was tasting good and I really liked that um, that spiciness of it. I never had a chicken sandwich with that particular spiciness. It's not too hot, uh, definitely not, and th there still is a certain kick to it, I guess. I mean, if you really hate spicy stuff, then this is probably not for you, but um, for a, a moderate eater like myself, I would say that this is um, interesting. Yes, I think I'm going to get this again at some point. Flavor-wise, very interesting. The one thing I want to say, though, is that the um, dressing, I like to call it, the sauce really tasted like salad dressing, and for me it was a bit too sweet. I would wish for something a bit less sweet. Um, that would really top it off, I think. Uh, still, 4 out of 5 is, I think, a decent rating for this. realization wise I give 1 out of 1 available point, because Overall, this was a very decent chicken sandwich, I think. I don't have much to compare it to. Um, the only thing I can compare it to is Burger King and McDonald's items, and those are, well, not the greatest either. So um, for me, as a, as a non-regular in terms of fast food, the only fast food items I have are the ones that you see on camera for the most part. Uh, I, I give one out of one available point here as a chicken sandwich. In total, we've got an eight out of 10 for the KFC Zinger burger, therefore, and I think this is where we are going to end this video. If you've got a question or a video suggestion, leave it in the comment section down below. And if you want to see more videos just like this one, feel free to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope we're going to see you soon. Until then, bye bye.